good morning and welcome to study iq i am prashant mahavani i hope you all are doing good because of your smile you make life more beautiful has been said by a buddhist monk named tichnat han uh, tichnat han conducts uh, lectures you will find his uh, lectures and meditation and other things on youtube uh, he has wrote many books as well but uh, this statement is very right because of your smile because of our smile our life becomes beautiful and smile is uh, such a powerful thing if you want to give it a go then today when you step out of your home just throw a smile to a stranger and you will find that that person will throw a smile back to you this is the beauty of smile and it will stay you know it will change your mood if someone is sharing a smile with you unknown person particularly then it will uh, change your mood that's what happens with me and uh, i have experienced uh, this thing there are a few uh, cultures out there do you know that uh, in many countries right uh, even strangers when they when they pass through each other in the morning they will uh, they will share a smile this is uh, i think something that is required in our country i think that because we have too many people in our country we don't appreciate uh, that much that people are surrounded us but if we go to countries like australia or canada or other countries uh, we find that because there is a very low population particularly in the countryside uh, people are more friendly and more cordial anyways dear friends we have many important articles one of the most important article in today's discussion or today's uh, the hindu is this one i will give rank 1 to this article out of all these articles that we have if you are preparing for civil services examination then this article is again a very important article i can say that uh, it's a tie between this two if you are preparing for civil services then this could be one of the most important article for you for other exams uh, there will be a tie between this two article then you have this one uh, thutukuri fables will go through it uh, yes no and complicated is on table today it's about indian o- economy whether it is going up or whether it is uh, just uh, uh, words or just good figures or just you know rhetoric that we are that we are finding around us we'll go through this three different views as well this one is a pure political article uh, you can drop this one it's about bjp that it will have to keep all its allies together all uh, friends of bjp should be there with bjp before this 2019 and during this 2019 general election and here you have one article it's about this uh, shillong violence uh, that took place between sikh and uh, khasi community we'll go through this article as well a bit Before that dear friends uh, study iq provides pen drive and tablet courses for various different exams as you can see on your screen today is the last date i'm repeating myself here today is the last date of 50% discount that you get on our pen drive and tablet courses to find out more about it check out studyiq.com if you have any question or queries feel free to give us a call on the numbers that you can see on your screen you can get in touch with me via my facebook page and twitter handle don't forget to hit the like button and share this lecture with other people as well because you guys are brand ambassador of this lecture now let's start with this article sustaining the earth for the future life is a unique asset of our planet uh, so far we don't know about life we don't know uh, that life uh, whether life exists in other planets uh, so far right uh, and when i say so far you mean to you have to understand this thing that we have been working on um, you know exoplanet uh, we are searching planets around and we are trying to find out whether there is any life anywhere else or not so far we can say that whatever we know uh, till date we can say that we are living in a very unique uh, you can say planet or very unique place in this uh, big uh, you can say measurable universe is it uh, life is one of the most beautiful thing Uh, that is happening with all of us right now if you think about it right then you will find that life is one of the most beautiful thing all your problems whatever we are facing whatever problems or we may be uh, you know in a race to achieve something uh, once this thing will get over once this breathing uh, is you know no more or once it stops everything is gone right all our dreams everything whatever we are planning to or whatever we have collected or uh, held uh, with us as a stock everything will be gone once we lose our life and you will find this thing very interesting too that each and every 
creature, right? Each and every creature on this planet, uh, they love their life, isn't it? Uh, may it be a big tiger or may it be a big, a small ant, right? Everyone loves their life. Now, uh, India, we know it very well that we are blessed with this extraordinary richness of life. And when we talk about biodiversity, generally, the big mistake that we do, right, is that we consider that biodiversity, we just look at these places, uh, Western Ghat and Andaman Nicobar and Northeastern part and uh, this Himalayan range. Uh, these places are, of course, a biodiversity hotspot of our country. They have this variety of uh, different flora and fauna, no doubt. But uh, the big mistake that we are making is that within our concrete jungle, within our city as well, there is a biodiversity living with us, right? And we need to look after this biodiversity. It's not that we find biodiversity only in this belt here. We find it in over land, we find it over ri in rivers, in oceans, everywhere we find biodiversity and with this biodiversity we are went together right we cannot say that we are out of uh, this biodiversity we are part of this ecosystem whether we like it or not whether we know it or not we are part of this ecosystem and if this ecosystem is falling down then we are falling down with it together unleashing of unprecedented economic and environmental forces this sort of things have created or increased this wear and tear because of uh, our greed, we are expanding. You know, the biggest problem that we are facing at present, uh, one of the biggest problem, not the biggest, but one of the biggest, is uh, this uh, converting this agricultural land into commercial land. Now, once you convert your agriculture land into commercial land, then you can never ever convert this commercial land back to its original form once you convert agriculture land into commercial land then that's it that's gone forever what we are finding nowadays is that because we have got uh, good medical facilities people are uh, living for a very long uh, you know till very long age uh, then you have uh, mortality rates are coming down at the same time uh, this land is shrinking right we are creating this when i say shrinking i mean to say that we are creating buildings and other items and because of this thing we are losing this agricultural land this is creating pressure on other agricultural land whatever we have got left with us so because of this pressure we are injecting too much of chemicals and other things and then we have this you know from here you you see this disturbance in the whole ecosystem this is just one point then you can add your factories and using too much of you know fuel and other items pollution and because of this pollution we find this small bees and insects and birds and everyone gets affected by this thing and then uh, we find this whole ecosystem is getting affected so modern extin extinction rates are more than a thousand times greater than the rates of geological past can you believe this thing thousand times greater every year we find so many species right so many mammals are are just vanishing from our earth 40 percent of large mammals have declined and as far as insects are concerned more than 75 percent are finished natural habitats all over the world have shrunk uh, for this losses our country ranks number one this is again a big problem see when it comes to pollution we are number one when it comes to extinction of natural habitat we are number one so this itself indicates this sort of things are red flags for us that we have to stop here we have to think about some sustainable ways if the way things are going on in our country if we continue doing it then india will become a big uh, you can say death valley right uh, it's not going to be sustainable it may look uh, a bit mythical at this point of time right uh, at now at present but look at this storms if you follow current affairs for a couple of years then you will realize that so many things are going on the more you know the more the you know the more you know about things you know in in context of this environment you will feel more pain uh, that's what i that's what i uh, find myself i'm sure many of you uh, realize this thing as well uh, this era is termed as anthropocene era anthropocene era is a new period in earth's history when humans have begun to impact our environment at the global scale we need to nurture our biodiversity we need to nurture this ecosystem and here eo wilson's 
theory of half earth can help what is half earth all about pay attention to this thing half earth is that at least we will keep we will use half of earth's portion and rest of the half portion we will uh, we will make it or we will make sure that it is protected it is untouched and uh, in country like india right uh, we have as far as per our forest policy we have decided that uh, nearly third of the country right almost the third of our country uh, will be uh, will be k- uh, kept as a sort of you can say a reserved area right we will let nature takes its own course we will not interfere with it and then we have some natural systems like grassland and wetlands if we add all these things together then we are talking about almost 40% of our land now if we can do this thing if we can achieve this 40% if we can protect the 40% of our country then this is going to be a big thing and not only for our country but for the whole world because we are talking about 17% of world population right uh, we would be able to give them good environment because at present we know air pollution soil pollution water pollution one thing that we don't talk that much about normally is noise pollution in our city area it's a big it's honking cities you can say right uh, indian cities are honking cities so this is going to be 50 50 scheme right uh, where 50% of your area is you know protected you will keep it protected natural and the 50% you can use your houses and commercial and other items but can we achieve this thing uh, just by relying on uh, government not at all we have to add all stakeholders right uh, places where you have uh, tribal people living we have to empower them uh, because they have got this uh, uh, you know inherited knowledge about uh, how to look after their environment and everything so we have to trust them and give them extra responsibility as well as extra powers so that they can take decisions at ground level as far as our science is concerned as far as our education and research is concerned right we pay too much focus on this microscopic and sub microscopic Uh, biodiversity we are paying too much uh, attention even schools and colleges you find this sort of things going on what about big flora and fauna we need to create a catalog we need to create proper map we need to monitor life and this is a big research topic if any one of you is interested in doing research in future phd or anything then here you go this is a very interesting topic we also need a comprehensive inquiry into how our society is shaping as well as responding to changes in biodiversity we don't know answer to this question a big research opportunity and one thing as i told uh, already i would like to repeat here again that multiple stakeholders right government society industries uh, universities or academic world uh, every one of us have to come together if we want because uh simple is that we will either swim together or we will sink together moving on to another item this is about uh, civil services very important uh very important article i on routine and now this article starts with uh, this award ceremony uh during manmohan singh's uh, time uh, prime minister manmohan singh's time there was an award ceremony and uh, awards were given to Uh, some innovative civil servants now the big question that uh, this author is asking here is that uh, what routine tasks each of this awardees had neglected in order to focus on some innovation they had sought to bring about regulatory and inspectorial functions of the government are most important function pay attention to this thing you find questions every year in your mains examination about civil services it is it is part of your syllabus as well they ask you this question in your interview as well you know they ask you this question this question will be there every year that why you want to join civil services now of course uh, you have to find out your own answer my answer will not help you because we all have different life we all have different way of uh, looking at things but uh, this question will be there and many times uh, counter question right based on this thing like what are the things do you think uh, should be changed uh, that can change the way things are going on in civil services why we are not able to change our country we are trying to uh, change things that are in our country from last 70 72 years but still we have not achieved it why is that so because 
we have not paid that much attention even today to this inspectorial function or you can say our inspectorial and regulatory function is not up to the mark its systems are still you know we, let me give you one example practical example you might have seen this thing that when you get new collector or when you get new SP or new commissioner for a couple of days or maybe a couple of months uh, right things will uh, things will you know it will be uh, it will be changed you will see a sort of radical change in your city or in in, in your area uh, shops will be closed on time uh, then you will find that all this uh, people who are bootleggers and other troublemakers they will be thrown behind the bars and everything this sort of uh, you know a sort of uh, introduction uh, this is way of introducing an IAS or IPS officer uh, that's how they introduce themselves in a new area these things do take place predominantly in small towns and uh, village area countryside many times in uh, uh, two tire cities as well you find this sort of things now anyways so when you have this sort of thing what we can learn what 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 message do we get from this thing the message is that these things are just a part of a makeup isn't it uh, and you will also find this thing that once a good officer will leave that place things will be back to normal they will start doing all this all those business that they used to do earlier on this itself indicates that just heroism or just uh, you know a couple of uh, officers being good enough or strict enough will not help nowadays we find this sort of things as well on youtube that many officers they are taking rounds and they are you know finding faults and all these things are and it it motivates uh, civil service aspirants right uh, for time being you feel motivated that i would be doing the same thing i will make sure that all these people carrying number plates vip number plates and all these people carrying a police written on their bikes and cars and everything i will make sure that th that thing is removed yes for few days you feel good about it but uh, we have to ask a deeper question that why people do this sort of things why people are carrying this uh, police plate or stickers on their motorcycles uh, because uh, we are still this system is being lenient to someone who belongs to police family that means law and order is not followed as it should be it's not equal for each and everyone on book yes it is equal but on reality it is not that equal the other thing is if we go through all the scandals in public sphere and deficiencies in public services we find again one thing that regulatory and inspectorial failure are a root cause of all this big or small scandals that we find in our country basically if you if you talk about civil servants right civil servants are crew member right uh, crew maintenance you can say maintenance crew member of government if you go in any organization you find managers isn't it you find supervisors and managers same job is done by uh, civil servants IAS IPS they are supervisors and managers they are the ones who will take uh, decisions they will stay at they will be very close to ground level they will be monitoring people they will ensure that uh, standardization is followed they will ensure that new systems are created so that uh, things are equal for everyone if you go through this Bofors case if you go through this Bhopal gas tragedy Nero Modi scam you will find one thing that rules and regulations regulatory and inspectorial lapses uh, were created at various level and this is one of the main reason why we saw this sort of scams so we need to sort this thing out right uh, uh, giving awards and everything will motivate people of course but we have to make them we have to create our you know this whole training or it's not just about training but uh, not when I say training I'm I'm talking about this training that you go once you clear your examination no once you join your once you are out there in the field every year appraisal should be done the other thing is appraisal basically means your boss will have a word with you regarding what other things that should be done etc and still today one thing that we are missing right one thing is missing in our system is that your boss will write your annual confidential report now of course in any organization everyone understands this thing that uh, each and everyone will be in his or her best behavior right when they are in front of their boss isn't it 
But what about their subordinates? If subordinates, if they write your report, if they provide inputs about you, then you will get actual picture about how you are performing. And this is uh, going on in different companies, private companies, many giants, many successful companies. That's what they do, right? Uh, the, your subordinates will, will give you marks and this marks will be reviewed by a committee. So this is something that is missing here until and unless we don't allow this thing, right? Proper human resource policies are not applied we will not see any change in the things that are going on. Moving on to another item, this is about violence in the hills. Uh, in Shillong, what we saw, this lie on WhatsApp uh, spread so rapidly that uh, there was a big fight between uh, Mazabi Sikh community and Khasi youth. Now, this is a very sad thing. India is one country when we sing Janagana Mana. We talk about biodiversity of our country. When I say biodiversity, I mean to say this cultural biodiversity, cultural diversity, not biodiversity, but cultural di diversity that we have, right? We have different religion and all these things. We know about this thing. But when we find this sort of, uh, you know, a wrong messages of lie or fake news, all of a sudden people are ready to forget about all this unity and diversity and they will use stones and all these weapons uh, and they will become like you know enemies of each other now again if you analyze this thing right uh, and this is something that you should do you should do analysis of all the things that you read particularly all these big incidents i'm not talking about small tribal news items i'm talking about these articles that we discuss analyze this situation why this sort of things are happening and this is this is not the first time we are seeing this thing, right? Uh, this sort of things do take place in different parts. You'll find it in your day-to-day -day life as well if you observe this thing. I have seen people from uh, Nepal uh, working in, in different parts of my city. And uh, I do see this thing as well that uh, many people, they, they don't respect them, right? Uh, they treat them very badly. Uh, because they know it very well that these people are coming from a very far place. Uh, they are in minority here. Uh, they are not in big group. Uh, they are they are laborers basically, right? Uh, they are not politicians or well-connected IES, IPS officers. If they would be, then people will not harass or bully them because they are poor people, hardworking people. They are been, you know. Uh, you can say ill-treated by not everyone, but many people do this sort of bad behavior, particularly on roads when they are in big cars and when you find these people in bicycle, they will just, you know, turn down their window and say anything they like, whatever. The thing is, because you are in small numbers, uh, this sort of things are taking place. One thing. The second thing is, what about this law and order police, right? Uh, this happens because in your local police you have uh, people who are from your community from local community right and this is one of the reason why you have you know someone means if people or police people if they are working in your area for a very long period of time then naturally they will be having good relationship with local community and here again we find this sort of thing that uh, uh, this sort of protection is not provided at present we do see that uh, yes uh, things are means police ha is providing protection to this uh, Mazabi Sikh community here. But still, uh, this sort of things taking place indicates that uh, earlier on, you know, in background, there is a sort of uh, leniency being provided by local administration. The other thing is, you will find, always you will find one thing, economic, right, is always a bit of problem. This is the root cause. If people are busy, if people are working, right, you will hardly find person who is hard working, who is looking after their family, etc., with dreams and all these things, they will not create troubles. They will not join in this. And there is no point of joining this sort of, uh, this sort of uh, uh, fights as well. But when you find uh, people in any particular area, if they are unemployed, and what we find here in Meghalaya is that 13.4% of youngsters are, or urban, uh, uh, you find urban employment rate is 13.4% four percent in Meghalaya which is uh, uh, highest uh, as far as urban area is concerned in our country so because of this thing uh, it was a bit easy so many free people ready to take on and then then this is associated or this is taken as that uh, this sort of problems are going on because people from different parts are coming here and snatching away our jobs this 
thing took place in uh, this uh, Shillong back in 1979 and 87 as well. Now the thing is, uh, political leaders as well as civil society should do something about creating jobs, uh, either entrepreneurship or jobs, and only then we would be able to sort out this problem. And it applies to uh, all parts of our country. If people are provided with good jobs, then you won't find this sort of problems. Now, talking about this, is the Indian economy on upswing now? If you go through this uh, second, third, and fourth quarter of 2017-18, we find 6.37 and 7.7. .7 which is not bad GDP expansion we are talking about. One more thing that I would like to highlight here is that GDP figures are brought out by Central Statistics Office. Keep this thing in mind. Many times you find this sort of simple MCQs as well. Now the thing is, this 2017-18, uh, if we see one of the main reasons for growth is uh, public administration, defense, construction, and agriculture. These are some major reasons why we saw this uh, recovery taking place in our economy after introduction of gst and uh, demonetization we saw a bit of slowdown earlier on things were going right and uh, because of two this two of these things uh, things came down a little bit but now again things are picking up so this is uh, explained as v-shaped v-shaped recovery right this is v-shaped recovery that we are seeing at present now, there are some uh, things were all right as far as external environment or global environment is concerned, right? Things were going very well. Uh, USA, Europe, China, and Japan, uh, their economy was doing very well. But nowadays, we are fighting this oil prices. And uh, the other problem that we are facing is this US-China trade war, which is also creating negative environment for global export. And the third thing is this uh, continuous rise of... Uh, uh, you know, interest rate in, uh, not continuous, but the rise of interest rate. I think we talked about it yesterday. So all this money going back uh, to USA. So all these things are creating or are a bit of red flags for our economy. Moving on to another one. This is about Thuthukudi fables. It is about uh, this uh, heavy handedness of police in Thuthukudi. Now, Thuthukudi is similar to what we find in different parts of our country as well as different parts of our world as well first of all if you see this thing this is a very horrific uh, statement that if police people are beating disabled people right this is absolutely unacceptable right uh, this is basically you know colonial hangover that's what they say colonial hangover that even today uh, for for you people right for you uh, uniform people and I'm not saying everyone is this right you have to be practical here but we find this sort of thing that whenever there is any sort of protest going on even in Nirbhaya protest people use this police used uh, lattes or uh, force on on peaceful protesters so this is this sort of things are going on and on in our country uh, citizens right we are citizens we are not Naxals or terrorists uh, that you are hitting us with your batons. The other thing is, if you are strong enough, then you should be able to avert all these uh, murders and rapes and the terror attacks that are going on in our country. Uh, this uh, are the places where uh, your bravery should be displayed. Now, if you go back to history of this Thutukudi, then we find that you have three different history, right? Uh, th when I say three different history, you find this thing in article that 20 years ago, from Maharashtra, this uh, plant came into Tamil Nadu 100 days ago. Uh, this housewives and children and villages created a community to protest against this thing. And uh, then we saw this uh, scandals of firing going on. At present, uh, administration is trying to cover this uh, scandal of firings. Now, the strange thing is that uh, snipers were deployed. We don't need snipers for our citizens, right? You use it for terrorists and other threats. Uh, you don't need it uh, for citizens the other thing is uh, again you will find here the thing that we have already discussed that if you are if your regulatory and inspectorial work is not conducted on regular basis or on time to time or effectively and efficiently then you see this sort of issues going on moving on to news item dear friends uh, rajnath singh has said that if uh, pakistan cannot deal with the terrorism then it can ask India's, it, it can ask India for its help and India will definitely help Pakistan to sort out these issues. Then we derive our strength from tolerance has been said by our former prime Minister, uh, president. Uh, Kenya woman gang raped in our country. Very shameful thing. Uh, first of all, rape is a shameful thing. And the second thing is when you are doing with this thing with 
tourists or foreigners. You are basically ruining relationship, people to people contact and people uh, are losing jobs because of this sort of culprits. Singapore signs uh, two MOUs with uh, Andhra Pradesh about Amravati, a journey to mark an infamous event. Uh, Susma Swaraj is in uh, South Africa. So he's going to be, you see, the, today you find a picture of, of uh, her in this uh, uh, Peter Martinsburg, uh, Peter Martinsburg train carriage. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you know about it. It is associated with Gandhiji. India has said that it is not ready to sign this Hague Treaty. Hague Treaty is about uh, parents, you know, when uh, marriage is not working very well, when they want to separate from each other, either one of the parents will take away children and fly to different countries. So this is uh, something that is going on in our country. We have not signed this Hague Agreement and PSP recap. Uh, plan inadequate for growth has been said by Moody's that you will give money but what about generating capital people has lost their confidence on this uh, PSB's government will uh, decide on AI that is uh, Air India disinvestment and uh, Indian entrepreneurs with wins 1 million dollar for safety device they have created a small button that you can wear on your cloth it's a sort of safety button you press it whenever you are in any sort of Thread. That's everything in today's discussion, dear friends. These are two questions for you guys. Again, today is last day to make sure you look after your environment, uh, you look after your friends as well. Do share this lecture with them and don't forget to hit uh, the like button. Look after me as well. And again, 50% last date. Make the most out of it. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. God bless you all. Jai Hind.